Hi, this is Cameron Cook, and I'm going to let you in on a secret project I've been working on for a long time now. A story. A story currently called World War IV The Vampire War. I've been working on it for several months now, and I've posted most of the chapters online. And it's the reason why I've stopped posting riddles. Currently, I'm looking for reviews and feedback on the story. And don't worry, it's not like every other story. And trust me, there is no vampires in it. Similarities, maybe, but nothing like them. I've been told that it's a very good story and get an average of 50 views per day. But I've been lacking the feedback on later chapters and have moved on to YouTube to see if anybody cares to read a great story. Maybe in your future, you see this book on the shelves in a bookstore and have the ability to brag that you're able to read from request of the author the story before it even came out. This story is on Earth and set in a slight future, just after the resolution of the Third World War, the War on Terror. The World War with a small amount of casualties because it mostly revolved around politics and who controls who. A girl starts changing, she evolves, gets massive powers, and decides she wants to use it to change the world, to fix it. Now of course, this idea of hers will never work, but she goes for it anyways. The result? The Fourth World War. Not exactly what she intended. The war is later named after her, and most of the bloodshed is in her name. Next thing you know, every superpower wants her on their side and it turns into a war of execution, a war of assassins and silent murders, of corruption and seeking of power. All of this made possible by the number one tool of murder, her. Why can't she stop this madness? No one knows why. She doesn't just stop letting the world get thrust into madness, letting it get thrust into the biggest, bloodiest world war of humanity, the Vampire War. Just to let you know, this is the first draft, so some of it may be rough, but don't worry. It's still pretty good, and it will only get better. I hope you check it out. It's worth reading. The link in the sidebar goes to the first chapter. You also don't need to sign up for anything to post a review. Just click the green review button on the bottom of the page and post your thoughts. I look forward to get some good feedback, and I can't wait. Thanks, Cameron.